After having another disappointing season just like what happened in 2018, Ferrari finished in both championship and second place despite of having the fastest car, arguably. The rumors that Ferrari have decided to part company with team boss Mattia Binotto are refusing to go away. With Corriere dello Sport reporting it is a matter of hours before it is all done and dusted. Is Binotto going to be axed by Ferrari? Or he will resign? Let's see on this video. Before we begin, if you enjoy the video leave a like and also subscribe to my channel to keep yourself updated in everything Formula 1. Recently, it was Binotto who was back in the firing line with Gazzetta dello Sport reporting that Alfa Romeo chief Frederic Vasseur was being lined up to replace him next season. That reported was strongly denied by Ferrari but, when Binotto was asked about his future by Planet F1 during the season finale in Abu Dhabi, he could not categorically state that he would be the person to lead the team again in 2023. Obviously it is not down to me to decide, but I'm pretty relaxed. The reason why I'm relaxed is that I will always have open, frank and constructive discussions with my bosses, Ferrari, Chairman, John Elkin not only in the short term, but the medium and the long term. If I look at the way we started the season, no one would have ever imagined Ferrari to be so fast at the start of the season. That is proof the team has worked very well through difficult moments in 2020 to 2021. We remained united. I think it's a team which is not only working well, but has proved to be capable. There are still a lot of things that need to progress. Weaknesses have been shown. But I'm pretty sure that, as we did in the past, we will review and try to address them. The team back at the factory will focus on 2023, try to improve. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc also responded to this rumors. Leclerc acknowledges Ferrari need to change something, but that's something he says is the decision making. I think we have to change the way we make decisions, to be better on Sunday, that's what you have to change. When asked if Ferrari need to make changes on their people he replied, No, not necessarily. Should the Vasu rumors turn out to be true, Leclerc will team up with his old boss from his sober days. So far, he says, it's just rumors. In F1, there are always some and at Ferrari even more. I learned not to think too much about these rumors. I focus on what I have to do on the track. And don't comment on rumors. Especially right now. Now the Italian media are continuing to double down on the feeling that Bonato's time with Ferrari is up. Corriere dello Sports report claims the final finishing touches to an exit agreement are just hours away. Citing that this leak of information has come from a source linked to within Charles Leclerc's entourage. The report also states that the main reason for the departure is an increasingly cold relationship with Ferrari president John Alken, who no longer trusts that Benato is the right man for the job. Alfa Romeo's Vasseur is still the only clear standout candidate to replace Benato at this stage, the report adds, as McLaren's Andreas Seidel is believed to have already turned down the role. Until then, Tifosi will yet again say that next year will be our year. Should Ferrari axe Binotto? Or it should be the race engineers? Let me know in the comments section below. While you are here, watch my others to keep yourself updated in everything Formula 1.